Hey, what's going on everybody? Gundam Flexing here. In today's video, I'm going to be unboxing the Full Metal Panic M9 Gernsbach Command Type Version 4. It's important to note that this is a 160 scale model, not the typical Gundam high grade, the 1144. Uh, even though it, the box size is about the same. Uh, if you haven't seen Full Metal Panic series, personally I would recommend it. Highly recommend it. Watch both seasons. It's entertaining and um, great mecha show overall and I can't wait for the third season to come out. Oh and by the way if you hear loud thundering in the background it's, it's thundering where I live and it's getting very violent. Let's check out the side of the box. Here is a pretty cool battle pose and on the bottom here it says intricate settings, balance, and stylish proportions have been recreated under the supervision of mecha designer Ibikawa. It's pretty cool. Here you see his Grawl 2, it says L4 large, uh, his monomolecular cutter. Here is another battle pose and it looks like here are his weapons. So here he has a wire gun and it says on the bottom, in addition to the large monomolecular cutter, the GEC B 40mm rifle, Grawl 2 monomolecular cutter, and XM18 wire gun are also included. So pretty much you have a monomolecular dagger, he has a 40mm machine gun, and over here on his special weapons, it looks like he comes with a battle rifle, which is a pretty sick design. The magazine is fed upwards. Nice. Over here, for his gimmicks, a pullout gimmick has been adopted to the grind joint block. This allows for a wide range of articulation for the leg unit. His grind joint block could pull out. His grind could pull. Basically, he could pull out, guys. Awesome. <laughs> on the side of the opposite end, here is a still image from the show. It's just a little art. Again, I highly recommend the show. Entertaining, great mecha series. Over here are the other two design models that are also available. Again, 160 scale model, his front and back. So most likely he is going to be just gunmetal gray all around. So let's open this box and see what's inside. Here we have one bag for the E-Runners. Very small. Wow, the plastic, not the plastic bag itself, but the plastic looks really detailed. The little pieces and everything it looks shinier. That's interesting. So one bag for a pair of E's. It looks like a second bag for a B and an F, so same size as the dual E's, haha, <laughs> dual E's. And again, the plastic just looks really nice. It looks like a gloss coat or something on top of the pieces. There's the other runner, the F runner. Very small pieces to note too. Here is a third bag for the I runner and the L runner. Here we can see his large monomolecular cutter with his sheath. That's pretty sick. Here are the other runners. Here's the other one. We could also see his head unit right here on top of 14. That's the third bag. This is the fourth bag. And again, it only comes with two runners, a J and a D with the PC caps. So here we also have his hands. Okay, all right, his chest. Oh, and here is his battle rifle. And I'm sure those are the pieces for the battle rifle. That is the fourth bag, a very small runner. Here is a fifth bag of a pair of, looks like a pair of A runners. And this one is dark beige. Wow, the pieces look very nice. It really does look like some sort of coating has been applied on top of it. I'm not really sure how the pieces are casted when they're out of the factory, but it looks nice. That is a pair of A's. And then we have the last bag. Is it a pair of C's? Okay, so you get a pair of C runners. Here they are. Looks like it's like the internalized joint piece systems. And it looks like it comes with a sheet of stickers. Pretty sure the green is his eyes. You have yellow and again, gunmetal gray and light gray, or that may be beige. 
Interesting. Those are a lot of small bags with a lot of small runners. I'm surprised they didn't just put them all on single runners. But this is the art for the M9. It's pretty cool. It's probably one of the best box art I've seen again. There are the instructions, but let's look here. So this is the entire schematics for all the runners. A through L, quite a lot. Doesn't look like you wind up with a lot of extra pieces, maybe one here, two there, a couple of just spread around evenly, but a lot of uh, a lot of extra PC caps. And these are the instructions, nothing, I don't see anything out of the ordinary. You start with the body, and then you end up with the head, and then the arms, right arm, left arm, right leg, left leg, and then again you bring it all together. I don't see anything peculiar about these instructions. The pictures are pretty big. So, let's see here. And the end of the instruction sets, you would finish with the weapons. So you have his battle rifle, his 40 millimeter machine gun. Oh, this is interesting. So he has his battle rifle. He has two, looks like he has two machine guns and then his dagger. No, no, I'm sorry. So looking at the weapon systems, again, it's the 40mm machine gun, his battle rifle, his monomolecular sword, and his monomolecular cutter dagger. So that makes sense. Here how it goes. You build the sheath. The sheath goes to the side of his waist. And then you build the wire gun. That's pretty cool. Nice. And this is the final page and pretty much covers everything we saw on the box art so his weapon systems coming all together looks he looks very uh, mobile too his mobility because he's able to get on his knee and still bring up his leg that's pretty sick and here if you want to pause the screen and read that is pretty much the history of the weapon or of the uh, of the Gernbach. Summary of his weapon systems. Here we go. If you want to pause and read this as well on your screen. And this is the Soldier of Fortune, Melissa Mao. Now it's I would say it's roughly been about three years since I've actually finished the uh, series. So I can't really remember this character. And again we have the color guide summarizes everything and that is it for this video so although it comes with a lot of bags well most of these runners are very small so if anything like we can pretty much count one bag as one complete normal if you will normal sized runners like we'd see in Gundam but I'm gonna get started on this I was really excited when I bought this off Amazon uh, most of my products are on Amazon and yes uh, you are correct Amazon Prime is expensive now. I think they jumped their subscription, their Prime membership. Um, I don't know. They may have jumped to like fifty dollars or something. But for those of you who are students, um, regardless of whether you're getting your graduate or undergraduate, if you have the uh, .edu account, they will actually just use. Uh, you'll actually be charged the student rate, which is I think like fifty nine dollars a year can't remember but I use it primarily to buy my school books but again this concludes the M9 Gernsbach unboxing I hope you found it enlightening I hope maybe that in the future it will help you decide whether or not you want to purchase this product or what you would expect when you unbox it thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the speed build video peace thunderstorm hasn't gone away by the way I'm so scared